Hey guys, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at worksheet number three, question number seven. I like this one because this gives us a chance to really take a look at the graph and kind of picture derivatives more as a visual thing rather than always just looking at the numbers. Uh, so I, I made two of the graphs because uh, that way I can do part A on the left one, part B on the right side. So let's just jump right into it and take a look at the question. Okay. So, if this graph, so we're going to look at this one here, and we're going to say it represents the original function. So, what we're looking at here is that this, uh, let me just make a little black line here. That means this line here is f of x, f of x. And at how many points would the derivative be undefined? So let's think about that for a moment, okay? Why would an, a derivative be undefined? Well, remember always what we mean. A uh, derivative is the slopes, right? It is the slopes of f of x. So that's the easiest way of thinking about it. You always want to keep that in mind. What am I doing? What am I doing? I am finding the slopes. So what we want to do here is we want to say, is there any point here where I would have a slope that I, well, I would not be able to tell the slope. Um, I think this would be pretty obvious uh, here because remember, what is also a derivative is also equal to a limit. So therefore, uh, undefined would mean, what does that mean? It means uh, no limit. I have a point where I have a limit that's undefined. Okay, so let's just think about that. We're used to limits right now. So when I look at this right now, what I have is I have a very continuous straight line. And then after that, I have a very continuous, what looks to me to be potentially uh, some sort of part of a polynomial. And one thing I know about polynomials is that they are continuous. And if they're continuous, it means there should be limits everywhere. I should be able to do limits. But... There is one problem place right there. This is a problem. Because if you think about it, uh, I would not be able to tell you uh, what the slope of that particular point is. And I think this would be easier if we actually, here, I'm just going to erase that. I want to just simply draw the derivative. What will it look like? So let's just think about this for a moment. First, this one's easy because this is continuous, so I know that um, a straight sloped line will produce a horizontal line. Another way of looking at it is that a linear function is going to have as its derivative a constant function. And I can pretty well tell the slope here is uh, I'm, going, I'm going down one and over one. So my slope in this case is negative one. And it's continuous until this point. So let's just draw that there. Beautiful. Okay, so I got that. And then what do I got? Well, suddenly, suddenly, it looks like I got something that, I don't know about you, but it looks like I've got something that looks like a very high, maybe even like a positive two or three. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just like stick it right up here. It's going to start right up here. So this starts here, it comes right back up here. And then what happens? Well, let's look for some uh, useful points. <coughs> Excuse me. Clearly, uh, I have two points that are of great interest to me, uh, here and here, and these are both zero. So I can, I'm, right now, the easiest way for me to draw this is to start creating a few points that enable me to start imagining what this might look like. Now, what's going on here? Now, let's just think about what this looks like. I have this thing kind of starting to increase, increase, increase in slope, and then here I have... It looks like maybe if I looked at the tangent, it looks to be about the maximum point until it starts going back to zero. So this also, if you think about it, is kind of an important point because I'm going to be increasing. What kind of slope? Positive. So I'm going to be going up and up and up. And then here, what kind of slope is this? Maybe two? I don't know. What does that look like? Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that tangent looks to be about two. A positive two slope. And what I can tell is that the slope is, if you just made a few little tangent lines, you can tell it, 
it kind of maxes out until it starts to go back down to zero. So these slopes have a, I guess this is a point of where I have the maximum slope. And here I've got going down. Okay, so what do I got? I got this thing coming down, hits zero, and then starts coming back up. And then down. I don't even know if I'm drawing this rather correctly. It looks kind of ugly, to be honest. Uh, but I'm just kind of making a guess and idea of what it should sort of look like. So here we go. Going back down. And then what happens here? After that, I have a negative slope getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So uh, I'm just going to draw it like this. It's just going to keep going down, 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 down. Uh, maybe it doesn't go that badly. Uh, perhaps it even evens out. I don't know. This could potentially kind of start going like uh, this, but I can't quite tell. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have a thing kind of just, let's just do that. I know this is not quite perfect. It doesn't look, honestly, it doesn't look beautiful. This should be kind of a continuous line here. Now, the only thing I did wrong here is that I did indicate a value here, and let's just face it, First off, I can't have two points. This is a function after all. And I don't know what the derivative is here, so I can't include a solid. I've got to put a circle here on both ends and say the derivative is undefined here. So when you look at this, you kind of go, well, yeah, okay, there's, there's clearly slopes everywhere along this thing. And I have pretty well um, one point where I have a derivative being undefined. And then if I say how many points would the derivative equal zero, well, pretty obviously, um, once again, it's wherever I look like I have a slope where the tangent is horizontal, and I have them here and here at x equals zero and x equals two. So um, how many points should be one point, and I'll just simply point out that it's at x equals negative one. How many points do I have it as equal to zero? Well, two points. And that's at x equals 0 and 2. So that's pretty easy. Now what becomes a little tougher is when we look at this in the opposite way. And this is where part B comes in. So let's think about this. In this case here, this is going to represent the derivative. So what my line here now is, is that this is f prime of x. And what I'm interested in is figuring a way of drawing the original function. And I want to know, at how many points would the original function have a horizontal tangent? Well, what does that mean? Once again, you've got to get used to these words, because then it's going to be a lot easier for you to uh, figure that one out. So let's just say we've got a horizontal tangent. What does that mean? It means I have a slope equal to zero. Now, am I looking for where this has actually got a slope of zero? No. What I'm looking for are the points where the value, where f prime of x is actually equal to zero. Well, that's pretty obvious. I got here, I got here, I got here. So I actually have, let me see, three points at x equals negative three, one, and 3. I think I got that right. Negative 3, 1, and 3. So now the only thing I want to talk about here is, well, I, it doesn't ask me to, but I want to uh, look at this. Actually, how many points would the original function have the derivative undefined? That's something that uh, I haven't thought about yet. So right now, is the derivative undefined anywhere? What am I looking for? I'm looking for where there is well, what would that mean? That would mean uh, f of prime x has no value. There is no y value. So for, for, for some x has no value, a y value, for some x, some value of x. And you might have looked at this and said, hmm, does this mean that there is no, um, is there no slope at this point because this looks a little funny, but no. This does have a defined value of negative 2. This is a defined slope. This does tell me, unless I see one of these guys, I really do not have the ability to say that there is something that is undefined. There is zero points here 
that seem to be undefined because everywhere I look, there is a value at some point. So let's think about this for a moment. Okay. Let's take this into sections. First off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw what I think the slopes are going to look like. First off, I know that I'm going to draw up here, by the way. Uh, this looks like I'm going to have a what? First, I have a positive slope of 2, so it's going to look something like that. And then after a while here, oh, actually, this gets a little smaller. And then I have 0, that's a horizontal. And then at this point, I have a negative 1. Okay, so that's a negative 1. Then what do I got? Negative 2, so at this point, it's like it's really tight. Oh, but wait, suddenly, I should be a little careful about this. Um, then it is going to start increasing again. It's going to be increasing. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, let me see, increasing. What does a horizontal line on a derivative mean? Well, if you think about it, let's go back to this one and look at this. The horizontal me line means I'm doing something a little constant here. It's, it's sort of like, I, for a moment there, it's a little straight. It's a little straight. So that means I'm going to have a constant weight. Now I should be careful about this. Look what I've drawn here. Done it wrong. Because let's make this clear. This is a slope of negative 1. It is still pointing down. It's still pointing down, which means it looks like that. It's starting to get less steep. In other words, it's starting to point less downwards. But it hasn't reached a positive slope yet. Here, I've got a slope of 0. And then here, what does this mean? Well, think about what I said here about it at x equals 1 for the original. This is where I have a maximum positive slope. This is where I have my maximum positive slope. It's, it's, it maxes out at here. It's still a positive slope afterwards, but it's going back to 0, which means afterwards it's going to look like that. And then what happens? I start increasing and increasing my slope. So what's this look like? Well, let's just try it. Now here's an interesting thing. Where do I start? Where do I start? That's one. Now that's one thing that you might have started noticing is that a derivative doesn't tell you where to start. You have no idea. Maybe I started x equals zero. It's entirely up to you because the information is missing. So let's say I'm going to start at zero, and I'm going to uh, let me see. I'm going to start at a very high slope. At this point, at x equals uh, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, at x equals negative 3. I'm going to have a slope of, uh, let's say, uh, 1, and then I'm going to have 0. So let's just say I go up that high. So I'm going to go like that. And then what happens? I start going down until I hit this point, which is negative 2. So we're going to, let's just say I go all the way down here. I have no idea um, how far I go. Or do I? Actually, that's an issue. Whoa, I made that really bad. Let me try to do that again. The question is, is, do I actually know how far I have to go till I actually, like, do I need to go to here, or do I need to go down to here, or do I go to here? Where do I get, where am I supposed to start, uh, or stop? Um, we're going to get into that later. Um, I'm probably wrong right now, but that's okay. That's okay, because I'm just trying to get a sketch of this thing. So and then I've got something where uh, I will do something like that. Now this should be horizontal. I should be a little more careful about that. Let's see. Horizontal. And then what happens? I am going to go up again until I reach um, a, another horizontal. So let's just say I'm going to do uh, something like this. Uh, now I have to be a little careful. Remember this is my maximum positive slope. So I start increasing my slope and then at this point I start going back to zero back to a horizontal, and then finally, I'm going down again. So, not pretty, not pretty. I'll erase all this stuff here. But you get an idea about how you can create the other graph when you're looking at it. So, this is sort of, probably not exactly perfect, but it gives you an idea that you can even see here, there isn't anything very special about this point even. Uh, it just happens to be a point where we have a maximum slope. I started getting lower and lower, but then I started evening back out to a horizontal afterwards. So really, that's, that's all you're trying to do. The question, yeah, the one question you want to think about is, 
is there a way of determining how high I go from here to here? Does, is that information in the derivative? What is this, this, this height? And does this thing going from here to, let me make that red. So from the time I go from here to here, do, is there something from this that I can figure out the height? Um, I don't know. Actually, that's a lie. I totally know. Uh, but I would like you to think about that on your own without me giving you the answer. Okay, so that's that question. Uh, take a look at it. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to work on, and I'll be happy to make a video of that. All right, see you.